On Nationwide this evening, we remember the legendary actress Anna Manahan one year after her passing. We look at the traditional craft of bookbinding and meet a woman who still practices the art. And we drop in on a man who can shoot you and your dog, in the photographic sense, of course. This evening we're coming to you from Waterford, home of the late Fair City actress Anna Manahan. And recently events were held here to commemorate the first anniversary of her death. Later in the programme we'll be looking back at her life and times. Before that though, they say that a man's best friend is his dog. And we have the story of a man called Brendan Burke. He's an actor and when he's not performing on stage or television, he can be found photographing famous faces and their beloved pooches. And Helen McInerney went along on one of his shoots. A black eyed dog he called for more. Luan Parle's dog is like a member of the family. Toby was rescued from the pound 14 years ago, and Luan's father Joe thinks the dog resembles Willie Nelson. Believe it or not, it was actually Toby's last day in the pound, which was so sad, wasn't it, Toby? I think he was heading for the, yeah, the little doggy cemetery in the sky, yes. So we brought Toby home, we fell in love with Toby instantly. How couldn't you fall in love with a little vase like this? <laughs> and uh, we brought Toby home with us. And Toby didn't bark for about, about a week, I think. He is Toby Parle, he is a member of the family. Toby and Luan are going to have their portrait taken by Brendan Burke. Toby does like to have his photo taken, but this is the, the first professional shot that he's going to have done. Toby, being an old stager, is totally unimpressed by the whole procedure. Even when Luan, who's a professional singer, starts to perform, Toby remains calm and collected. No skittish behaviour from this 15-year-old. Toby, do you know how much is that doggy in the window? How much is that doggy? It took a while, but Brendan eventually got his shot. Then it was on to the Wicklow Hills and Pat Nolan, otherwise known as Barry, in Fair City. His dog Bruce was very excited by the whole experience. Bruce is another rescue dog who needs lots of space. We got Bruce out of the pound, the local pound, about uh, five years ago. And uh, I call him Drogba because he's the footballer Drogba. <laughs> he throws his weight around. He's where he owns the place, you know. He hasn't quite got the hairstyle, but uh, we had Galaxy before that. He likes eating. Uh, he's always on the lookout for food. Um, and that's it, but he's a friendly dog, but he's very boisterous. Uh, he's nearly over-friendly. So are there any plans to include Bruce in the Fair City storyline? No, you need special dog. Although, although uh, Eamon Morrissey has his own dog on it, um, uh, Shebe. Uh, but I don't think Bruce would be very suitable for <laughs> in the place. The whole business now of getting your portrait taken with the dog. Yeah. What's that like? No, I think it's nice. It, it, it's a nice kind of uh, thing to have for a, a memory or whatever of the dog. I've been captured the dog's uh, character. Now, I've seen Brendan's work and I know Brendan, so I know, you know, he'll, he'll get something, whatever he'll get now, you know. And however long it takes is another day's work, but... Uh, but I think he'll do a good job, like, you know, and I'm looking forward to it, like, you know. Brendan began his working life as a microbiologist. He then moved on to acting and stand-up comedy. But today, it's photography that takes up quite a lot of his time. I think I was a, a comedian stuck inside a microbiologist's body. And, uh, and then I came out. I had to get out of the, out of the lab. Because all life, end, all life stood still in the lab. And life was going on out there without me. Brendan then trained as an actor and began to do stand-up comedy. But when he began to take photographs of his friends and their dogs, that side of his career really took off. But doesn't the name confuse people? At the beginning we thought there was going to be a, a few complaints from, from the various factions, but, but no. Uh, it doesn't, it, it, it just draws people's attention to, to it's, a, it's, a, it's a little bit of a risky name, shootmydog.ie, but um, it's going really, really well. People, people love their dogs, and working with people that love their dogs are generally nice people. Many well-known people in Ireland have had their portrait taken with their dog, and Brendan now plans to publish a book. While the business is doing really well, Brendan hasn't left the comedy behind. The comedy's still there, yeah. 
and I'm about to um, actually launch my Dublin 4 European tour, yeah? Um, starting actually this Tuesday um, in, in Kylie's in, in, uh, out in Dunnybrook. <laughs> I reckon no mantelpiece is complete without a nicely framed photograph of you and your best friend, i.e. your dog.